Hello and welcome to this video on the mouse. What we're going to do in this video is see what if we can distinguish between a left mouse button click, a right mouse button click, and a, a center wheel down. Obviously if we can do that, that's going to be a great uh, application for our future HTML5 games. So let's see what I have here. I'm going to use my left mouse button now. I click on that and I get an alert that says you click the left mouse button. Okay, great, it knows that. I'm going to click on OK. I'm not going to push down my mouse wheel and see what happens. It says you click the mouse wheel. Great, it recognized the mouse wheel. Now I'm going to click my right mouse button, see what happens. It says you click the right mouse button. That's fantastic. Okay, let's have a look at the code that did this and see if the code makes sense. First of all, there's some tricks here. Uh, let me go down to the body element to see the first trick. What I've done is on the opening tag of the body element, I use an attribute called on mouse down, which is going to call a function that has an argument called event. The function is called which button. Now, let me explain what's happening here. Remember before I used on click? in order to call a function that I had defined in the head element of the document. Well, if I use on click, when I right click the mouse button, I'll get a pop-up menu. So I've got to make it so that the, 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 the function is called before, before the browser realizes that I've clicked my right mouse button and let it back up again. So I've got to use the event on mouse down in order to call this uh, JavaScript function which button. Okay, That's the first trick. Don't use on click or else this won't work. Then when I go up here and I look at my function here, function called which button, I see it has what's called an argument and the argument is called event. Now event is an object which senses what's going on in the system. And so what I want is I want a property of that object called button. So event.button is a property of the object event. And when the button property is equal to zero, then that means I clicked on the left mouse button. Now you say, wait a minute, that's not equals. I got two of these equal sign here. What does that mean? Well, here's one of the things that we didn't tell you yet. This symbol right here, a single one in JavaScript, does not mean equal. What it means is assignment. So when I say x like equals 1, what I really mean is that x is being assigned the value of 1. In JavaScript, if I want something to be equal or check an equality, I've got to use two of these dudes, and they've got to be right together. Now for newbies, a lot of newbies will forget about that. They'll forget that you have to use two of them and their if statements won't work. So you have to remember two of these together means equal. So if I come here, I see that if the, 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 uh, the button property of event is equal to zero, then there's an opening brace. We're going to do this. Here's an alert. You clicked on the left mouse button. If <clears throat> the property, uh, the button property of the event object is equal to 1, then you get the alert, you clicked on the mouse wheel. And then if the button property of the event is equal to 2, then the alert, you clicked on the right mouse button. These are easy to remember as far as your mouse goes because when you hold your mouse going from left to right, uh, the, the button on the left is 0, the wheel is 1, and the button on the right is 2. So what this has done for me is this shows me that I can do that. Obviously, I haven't used any HTML5 with a canvas yet, but we're going to do that in the next tutorial. We'll show how by using the left mouse button, we can make the, uh, the cube or the square move to the left. And by using the right mouse button, we can make it move to the right. And by using the mouse wheel, we can maybe make it do something else. Okay, so uh, that's it for this tutorial. Uh, thank you for watching.